Oh good, we're recording. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering, why the fuck is Brie in a robe? <laughs> well, to answer your question as to why I'm in a bathrobe, is because today's video is going to be a video that I've never done here on my channel and I'm already guessing that it's probably going to be taken down or demonetized and the reason I say that is because today we're going to be changing my nipple piercings on camera. No, I'm not kidding. But don't get too excited ladies and gents because we are not actually going to be showing the TTs on camera. I am going to be doing that down here and you guys are only going to see my face. But I thought that this would be really cool to kind of film the process, my reaction to doing this because I am someone who when I get a piercing, I very, very rarely actually change the jewelry. It is going to be these gorgeous, amazing, beautiful pieces of jewelry right here that I got from Ofer Body Jewelry. As you can see, they are 14 gauge barbells, just straight across barbells. And on the ends of them, they have these really pretty jewels, diamond looking things on the end. And I think that that would look really nice in my tatas. Now, I have had both of my nipples pierced for well over a year. They are definitely healed, but what I'm nervous for is not actually changing them, but because the current jewelry that I have in my nipple piercings right now is a 16 gauge, and these are 14. Now, if you know nothing about body jewelry, let me fill you in. 16 gauge is, you know, a little bit smaller than 14 gauge. 14 gauge is a little bit bigger, so this is going to be kind of stretching them up a little bit. So I am very nervous because one, it is a very um, sensitive private area of the body. It is something that um, hurts to get pierced in the first place. And we're gonna be, we're just gonna be trying something new today. So I'm going to move the camera up a little bit so I don't accidentally like slip you guys a little peekaboo show. I mean, not that there's much to see anyway. Do I, sh do I, do I, <laughs> Am I sure I want to do this, dude? I'm like having second thoughts now. I'm sitting here like, this is probably going to really fucking hurt, but nah, I'm going to film it anyway. I'm going to just move you guys up. We're going to start with the right one first, and then we're going to move over to the left one. I very much wish I could show you guys what they look like in, but uh, I can't do that, and I'm not starting an OnlyFans, so don't even ask. You guys are never going to see. My boyfriend, on the other hand, congratulations. You're going to have a surprise when you see me later. I'm like procrastinating. I'm like, just keep cracking jokes until they're in, like, oh, <laughs> fucking shit. How's that? Okay, that's good. The, I'm just gonna give you a rundown. The jewelry that I currently have in my nipple piercings right now are just standard 16 gauge barbells. Really nothing exciting, and I really wanna change them to these exciting little buggers right here. Now, I'm pretty sure that the ones that I have in are externally threaded, and I'm also sure that these are also externally threaded, and yep, they sure are, which normally isn't really preferred for nipple piercings. They should really be 14 gauge internally threaded, but here on this channel, we like to rebel. Hi, my name is Bree. Make sure you go down and subscribe. And I have a few things right in front of me to prepare. So the first thing is hand sanitizer. Don't ask me where I found it. This is a very rare thing to find nowadays. Um, I also have some KY jelly, some personal lubricant because I have a feeling this is going to come into play. I have some Neomed piercing aftercare spray. I have some tissues, you know, in case there's any blood. And I also have a pair of gloves for extra sanitization and for easy jewelry gripping. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sanitize my hands here really quick. Oh my. So nipple piercings in general are known to be very finicky. I have known people who have had their nipples piercings for 10 plus years and they get finicky every once in a while. For me personally, I don't have too much of an issue with it. Unless I get close to my period, then they get a little bit angry. But other than that, um, I haven't really had any issues with my nipple piercings at all. But I am going to start with the right one first because I have had that one longer. And if you're wondering, what do you mean you've had that one longer? I actually got one nipple done 
when I first went and got my nipples pierced because I had some health issues with my other boob and I wasn't sure if I was going to have to have surgery or not, so I had to wait. I'm getting the left one done, so I only got the right one, and then finally when I got the okay to get the left one done, I got the left one done. So I have both of them done, but I have had the right one done longer than the left, so we're going to start with that one first. So I have my hand sanitized, my gloves are on, I'm going to undo the robe. Oh, God, this is so fucking weird. All right, so uh, the right ta-ta is out. The next thing I'm going to do is just kind of clean things up a little bit with my piercing aftercare spray. I'm just going to hold a hold a tissue and... Uh... Oh, that's cold. That is cold. You guys always say, Brie, you should really do reaction videos on your channel. How is this for a fucking reaction, bro? Like, you're going to see my face the whole time that we're doing this. This is going to... Fucking hurt! I can already tell. It. I'm just going to unscrew the ball to this one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the KY Personal Lubricant, and then I'm going to take the new piece of jewelry and kind of just follow it. Ow! I need more lube. Gosh, I'm literally already starting to sweat. It's literally like halfway in and it fucking hurts like a bitch. So, new plan of action, because just swapping out the jewelry is uh, not that easy. So if you guys remember when I stretched my ears, I have a 14 gauge stretching kit with a 14 gauge taper. Guess what's in my tit right now? Alright, so the taper is definitely helping a lot. And we got it. You. Feels like my nipple is on fire. Going from a 16 to a 14. Oh, Macarena. I'm gonna send a picture to my boyfriend. See what he thinks. We'll see what he says about that one. I'm really hot. I hope I don't pass out. <laughs> right, so the taper has been sitting in there for a hot minute. So I'm just gonna take the new jewelry again and with some lube on it. And I'm just going to kind of follow it in. I got it! Yeah. This little thing right here that I got for my ears works great for tits. Oh my gosh, these are so flipping cute. This is messy. One more to go after this. The only thing I have left to do is just screw the little ball on the end here. Oh my god, that is so cute! This is what I did have in my nipple piercings, just literally like the most simple barbells you could ever think of. They are so cute. Just very, very sore at the moment. So boy, I can't wait to do that again. I'm really glad I thought of the taper because otherwise I was literally just going to scrap this video idea and be like, mm mm. Not again, home slice. Alright, so now we are moving on to the left titty, and this one um has been pierced the less amount of time as the right one but it is fully healed no issues with it so basically right off the bat we're going to be doing the exact same thing that we did over on the other side but instead of trying to shove the new jewelry in right away we're going to use the good old 14 gauge taper you know thank god i kept these things always keep these because you're going to need them i swear you're going to need them someday I'm just going to spray her down okay and then we're going to unscrew this one now, I'm going to put some lube on the nip, and then some lube on the taper. Okay, I'm going to push. Ow! <laughs> the left one hurts more, probably because my adrenaline is like down from the other one. So yeah, this one's going to take a minute. All right. The taper's about halfway in right now. 
Um, I'm just kind of letting it sit there until the stingy feeling goes away and then I'm pushing a little bit more until I can't take it anymore, letting it sit there. Um, so yeah, this is definitely um, going to take some time for sure. I don't know how long I'm going to be sitting here, but um, we're going to get her done. We're going to get her done. God, my boobs hurt. Ouch. But in the meantime, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos until I can get this all the way through. That way we don't have to sit here and have that like awkward silence, you know what I mean? So I will be back once I get the taper through, if I get it through. Because this shit hurts, bro. <laughs> in my last video. Oh, this is going to be the hardest oh. unboxing ever. I got the taper through. And I'm just going to say, thank God. There's only two, because after this one I'm done, I don't ever have to do this again. Holy! So yes, the taper is all the way in. I've been letting it sit, just watching YouTube videos. So now I'm going to take the jewelry, right her, and I'm going to put it in some lube, and I'm going to follow the taper through, hopefully. Oh my god. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it burns, it burns, it burns. Ow, ow. Feels like someone's twisting my titty. Whew. This is like I'm going to pass out. Need some water. Oh my god. Okay. You just have to put the ball on and then you're done. You just have to put the ball on and then you're done. We did it. It literally feels like someone is twisting my nipples. Mm, help me. Oh, here comes Jackal to my rescue. He's like, Mom, are you okay? Yes, honey, I'm fine. Just stay away from my tits, okay? I absolutely love the way they look. They are very, very cute. Making sure you guys can't see nothing. I absolutely love them, but oh my god, I will literally never do that again. Like, from this day forward that you guys are seeing this video, from this day forward, only going to wear 14 gauge. No more 16s, all right? No more. Here are the old nipple rings that I had in for literally years, and now they are out. And we have graduated to a 14 gauge. We did it. And we didn't pass out, even though it felt like we were going to 80 times. I need water. So the game plan for probably the next week or so is I'm going to baby these. <clears throat> God, they hurt so bad. I'm going to baby these like they are brand new. We are going to do little shot glass sea salt cup thingy ma bops. We're going to be cleaning them in the shower. We're going to be wearing like good bras that aren't going to rub on them. You know what I mean? So it, it literally feels like I just got my nipples pierced again. Like that's literally how bad they hurt. I'm glad I recorded this so that way in the future if I'm ever like, you know, I think I'm going to stretch my nipples piercing. I'm going to be like, uh-uh. I'm gonna watch this video and be like, nah, -uh, Brie, if you're watching this in the future, don't fucking do it, okay? Don't fucking do it. There that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if you watched it all the way through, I greatly appreciate you and make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up because I'm probably gonna be in pain for the next week and I... Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, hi, nice to meet you. You should go down and consider subscribing because I didn't just do this for nothing. As for the rest of you, I love you guys so, so much. Please make sure that when you are getting piercings and you're changing your piercings, please make sure that you are doing it slowly, safely, and sanitary. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! Ow, 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 ow.